back to Lifting and Blade Reviews. Today we have our third Valiant Armory review. Uh, this one is going to be the Malatesta Longsword. So this one is going to be with the antiqued red leather handle. We'll see the fuller running through the double-edged blade all the way up until the percussion point. So the last about four to six inches or so. You also notice that I'm wearing the antique red um, scabbard, all done by Valiant by hand. All the leather work and all the uh, scabbards and blades are done obviously in shop with them. And we'll go ahead and take a look at some specs on this one. We'll do some up close looks at this um, out of the scabbard as well. So you can see the sword frog and the excellent leather work that they have with this, uh, this setup. And then we'll also pan to some cut testing. Uh, you can see how this blade performs. Let's get to it. Okay, looking at overall length on this one, the entire uh, blade all the way from the tip of the pommel all the way through to the very tip of the sword is going to be 43 and one half inches. So this one is obviously a long sword. We have the ability to have that two-handed grip on this one for the cutting performance. It's really well balanced to the point where you could also do this one with one hand. That's how well balanced uh, the Valiant team puts their blades together. We look at blade itself of this double-edged blade with this long fuller going through it. It's 34 and one half inches. So again, you'll see that the fuller stops obviously toward the percussion point where you would actually be striking or cutting or thrusting with. Um, as far as the way it moves, it moves very well. I mean, again, you could, and I'm not saying people wouldn't move with this with a single hand. So the maneuvering skills are excellent. Again, the color that you're seeing on this one is Valiant Armory's Antiqued Red. We'll see the peen pommel as well. Okay, going to the actual handle length, the handle length from right at the very tip where the leather is, right before the guard, it's six and one half inches. And then we look at the actual blade width at the guard. So this section right here is uh, an inch and seven eighths. So uh, not really a skinny blade, it's just a long sword. Uh, dimensions on that, really solid on this one. Take a look at the Valiant logo there too in the light. Okay, looking at steel quality for this one, this one is gonna be 1060 high carbon steel. Uh, sometimes you'll see in the previous ones, you'll see that Valiant will use 6150 high carbon steel but in this case, it's a 1060 high carbon spring steel. Uh, weight on this one is actually really impressive. It's two pounds, 10 ounces. So like I kind of demonstrated before, the ability to move with it with two hands is just, it's almost, it's almost effortless. So the ability to cut with it, obviously the ability to thrust with it, even with a single hand as well, is really excellent. I mean, even, even moving with a single hand not something you'd like specifically only do with this one, obviously being a long sword. But to make a point, the agility of the sword and the point of balance is excellent. So what I wanna do now is go ahead and pan to some up close looks of this blade and also the scabbard, the antique red scabbard with the black sword frog that comes with it. Again, Valiant does all their leather work in shop. I wanna show you some up close details of it so you can take a look at it and see how well this is made. Let's go ahead and pan to that. Okay, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a color contrast against the uh, pine needles, the dried out pine needles. So you can see the antique red scabbard. And I'll of course flip over the sword frog as well. But you'll see this is where the belt attachment is. This will slide through the length of the belt. And you'll see the antique buckles as well. So these are not like a really shiny finish which they're, that's intentionally done that way. We see in comparison with the scabbard, the accents on the tail of the scabbard right at the tip match the cross guard. Again, we can see that antique red as well. Also see the pommel. Really awesome job on this. In hand shots as well. Tip is very pointy. They're at, obviously the edges. It goes without really having to say that the edges are excellent. The cutting performance, I redid the cutting on it, that's why I'm saying that.
Okay, and then like I said, here's the back of the sword frog. You're gonna see as well that you have three options for this one. So you'll see that those three little notches are just the actual sword, uh, the belt attachments, the buckles that are connected to the scabbard. And then you have the option to obviously take this off. This all comes undone with the sword frog. Not all of it, but the um, these pieces here obviously with the buckles. So I have it attached a little bit wider because as I show you this with me wearing it, I wanna make sure it's nice and flat so you can see it. But you have the option to customize the way you wear this one if you choose to. Okay, I have this one rigged up now. Um, keep in mind I have it flat and a little bit lower just so you can see it presented. You can always customize it from the up close look so you can see that the, uh, the leather work, there's three buckles. So I'll go ahead and my head will be out of the shot because this is about the sword, not about me. But you'll see that you have three options for the buckles. Okay. Obviously I have this more running a little bit more diagonal. You can slide this across so it sits a little bit more next to the hip. You can obviously slide it more forward. I don't know why you would, but it's if, if you buy it, it's your sword. You can do whatever the heck you want with it. But you'll see that the it's a thin leather belt. Obviously, it's an antique buckle on the front of it as well. I have it a little bit off, even if I scoot it over a little bit. And yeah, you can wear it a little bit shorter and have these more together because these guys right here on the sword frog, you'll see that they move with you and they pivot. So this one wasn't attached down all the way. Okay, so you can see that these pivot a little bit. And I just have it kind of loose on purpose because I don't want to be pulling on the leather um, just for the sake of someone wanting to purchase this as a pre-owned. Draws really nicely. It being a longer blade, obviously you can't really, you can, but you don't really want to carry this right at your hip because um, then your elbow is going to get caught. But we're not talking about drawing. This is not a video on technique of drawing with a real sword. It's on the actual product. But even having it off too, it's very comfortable. It does obviously sway with you when you walk or you can just leave your hand on it. But even keeping it in this fixed position, it's really nice to have that ability to pivot as it sways with you. It does not feel like at all it's gonna like fall out. It feels very secure um, on the waist. Again, the blade is only two pounds, 10 ounces, but you got a freaking long sword on your belt. So you wanna make sure um, that it's gonna actually stay. So even if I move with it or if I have my hand on it, feels very, very well put together here. Go ahead and pan over to the cut testing. I wanna go ahead and show you it's a different clip from a different day because I didn't wanna rush these to make sure that Valiant gets the uh, credit they deserve on their excellent craftsmanship. So with this one, I went through the cut testing on it with the Tommy mats. So let's go ahead and pan to that clip. Okay, so the stand moved a little bit. You'll see again, the percussion point, obviously more toward the last, like upper third of the blade. It's very agile in the hand. This one is a little bit lighter than the Irish sword. I will also say that with the pommel, I like having the pommel in this more octagon shape. So I feel like the grip is better meaning like when the grip obviously moves a little bit more circular, it actually uh, just more maneuverable, just like a personal opinion on that. But an awesome, awesome long sword from Valiant Armory. All right, thanks for joining me for this blade review of the Valiant Armory Malatesta long sword. It's an excellent, very agile long sword in the hand, obviously being only two pounds, 10 ounces. Balance is really, really well done. So thanks to Sonny and Zach as well for putting these together. To purchase a Valiant item for your collection, go ahead and get a down payment on one or do a pre-order because they go really quick. 
um, I was talking to Sonny in the interview that you're going to see on the YouTube channel. Um, they're always just cycling through blades and they're always working. He's over at the shop seven days a week. So thank you to Sonny. Thank you to Zach for that again. As always, subscribe to the channel. More content coming your way. Like this video, share it with your friends, and we will see you in the next one.